What's going on guys? It's Felipe again, founder of the Social Buddha Method. And in this video, um, I want to show you exactly how to begin to practice having lucid dreams. It's not an overnight thing, but with enough intent, with enough commitment, you can do it, I believe, in a week, two weeks, or 30 days, maybe less. All right, so first of all, what is a lucid dream? So a lucid dream is not just being aware that you're dreaming while in a dream. A lucid dream is also being able to control your dream and have it be super vivid. You're talking about, there's different levels of lucidity and different levels of vividness. So in one dream, for example, you can be aware that you're dreaming, but you can't really control it. In another level, you can completely control everything. You can walk through walls, you can fly, you can have, you know, sexual encounters if you want them you can um, meet with you know masters or people that teach you some very very deep spiritual lessons you can meditate even in the dream so there's different levels to lucidity there's also different levels of vividness some dreams are just very 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 vivid where more they're where they're more vivid than reality actually the everything feels so real even the wind in your hair i remember the first time i started flying in one of these dreams you could feel the the wind you know kind of just hitting my hair and the sun and um and just flying through a cornfield actually i remember that was in in my old childhood home in mexico uh but anyway that's what a lucid dream is and now let's go into how to do this all right on how to do this i want to i want you to give yourself at least 30 to 90 days but shoot for 30 days to have your first lucid dream how do you do it you first want to start increasing your dream recall. So the way to do this is you begin journaling. The way I do it, I simply record uh, with my phone and record it every morning. The way to record it though, there's a, spe a specific method because as you probably notice, when you go out throughout your day, you begin to forget your, your dreams very easily. In fact, if you get up uh, to use the restroom in the middle of the night, you're going to forget your dreams. The trick is do not move as soon as you wake up. You might want to set up the, the alarm a little bit early, maybe an hour earlier than usual to record the dreams. Um, and so you record them without moving. You can write them down if you want, but usually I record them on my phone. Uh, you don't want to move. Uh, the more, um, what would you call it, sensory input from the outside that you get after waking up, the more you begin to kind of get out of that state and forget your dreams. Uh, another trick as well to um, to record and to journal your dreams is to actually um, wake up uh, three or four in the morning. This you might want to leave for the weekends when you can afford to be a little <laughs> sleep deprived. Uh, so you want to wake up at three or four in the morning, record your dream, and then maybe even take a nap in the middle of the day. Uh, so I will go into why taking a nap and why waking up a little early and then going back to sleep can actually enhance you know, your ability to have lucid dreams. But that is the first and number one tip to have lucid dreams. Because even if you have lucid dreams and you can't remember them, there's no point to them you know, in terms of you know, bringing that out into your uh, waking life. All right, so that was tip number one. Let's go on to tip number two. All right, so tip number two for lucid dreaming is getting familiar with your dream science and dream checks. So. The way to do this is you've already started recording your dreams, for example. Maybe you have a, you're a week in or a couple weeks in and you're getting familiar that you're always dreaming of this person that you don't see very often or perhaps they passed away already or you're dreaming of your childhood home or you're always dreaming, um, I don't know, a specific type of monster or animal or whatever it is. Whatever it is that you're dreaming over and over your patterns, whether it's a place, a person, a specific weird thing, uh, or situation even that keeps happening over and over and over those elements you want to keep a track uh, you want to keep track of those so that you can have them as your dream sign so that when you're in the dream you have it in your subconscious that hey whenever I see this person which are no longer part of my life um, I'm gonna be like oh wow shit I'm dreaming so that's one of them as, par as far as tip number two the second thing is you want to do dream checks throughout your day 
So you can put this as a reminder on your phone or you can simply uh, just remember yourself. But for example, right now, um, I would do some dream checks by, for example, checking something in writing. And if I look at something in writing in a dream, it usually changes when I look back at it. So I look at it and I look away and I look back at it, it usually changes. So that is a clear indication that you're dreaming. 100% of the time in a dream, writing always changes. Another thing is that um, when it comes to clocks and that kind of stuff, um, if you see a clock, uh, typically it will be kind of distorted as well. I've had it where I've been in a dream and the clock, the, the uh, what's it called, the 12, instead of being up there, it's down here or something like that. Instead of the 12 being uh, up there, it's on there where the six should be. And I'm like, oh shit, I'm dreaming. And so that's another indication, another um, dream check when you are in, um, in a dream, but also when in your waking life. So again, you wanna do these dream checks. Another one is I try to put my hand through walls or I try to see if I can move objects with my mind because that's what I do in dreams. Uh, when I am lucid dreaming, I begin to move things around, I dissolve walls, I walk through walls and that kind of thing. And so you wanna test that even if you're completely, absolutely sure that you're not dreaming. Like right now, for example, if I wanted to test something, I would kind of test on one of these walls and be like, all right, it's not moving. Or I try to levitate a chair or move my hand through my other hand uh, or even um, jump and see if, if you can kind of levitate. Um, so those are the kind of things. Another thing to point into dream checks, by the way, sometimes you will do a dream check in your dream and it will kind of, it won't go fully into, like let's say you're trying to put your, put your hand through the wall it might not fully work just a little bit because you, you, your lucidity level is not completely there. You, you don't believe that enough. And so that might, um, uh, what's it called? Um, that might hold you back a little bit, but in terms of becoming more and more lucid. But again, the power behind this is you want to keep asking yourself if you're dreaming and testing it, not just asking yourself, but testing it over and over throughout your day. Um, again, as you're practicing this, uh, thing of lucid dreaming. All right, so the third tip to really have lucid dreams is to have the intention to have lucid dreams. How do you do that? I know I've talked about, you know, creating a story when it comes to confidence and I've talked to, I talked about recreating your story and your script as far as your limiting beliefs. It's the same with this. You wanna create an affirmation that says something along the lines of, I always have vivid lucid dreams and remember them completely. Something along those lines. And so you say it uh, when you wake up and you say it right before um, you go to sleep to remind yourself that you're gonna have a lucid dream. So right now I'm hearing a siren. So for example, that might be a, a, a kind of a sign to check and see if, I, um, if I'm dreaming. So I might, again, I might look at this writing and look away and that kind of stuff just to test it. And again, this is what keeps reminding you uh, in your dreams uh, to test the, the, the reality of your dreams, if you will, to see if you're actually dreaming. So that's the third and final tip. Uh, I'm going to give you a few other ones uh, real quick in regards to other ways to improve the, um, your ability to lucid dream. But for the most part, those are the most important ones. All right. So... You have those top three tips, but there are other ways to help you have lucid dreams. Uh, one of the top ways, and I would say it's in the top three, top four uh, ways to do it is to be meditating. I know some of you are already doing it, um, but meditation, especially right before going to sleep, can increase your ability to have lucid dreams because you're increasing your consciousness in your waking life. You can bring that consciousness into your dreams. Uh, and vice versa, which is the next topic on another video of dream yoga. Anyway, uh, so meditation. Also, um, if you have the liberty with maybe you work for yourself or maybe on the weekends, you can take a nap. Naps actually, um, especially right after you wake up, let's say you wake up at eight normally and you wake up at seven, you stay awake meditating for 15 minutes or listening to some lucid dreaming material uh, and then go back to sleep. Uh, the likelihood of you having a lucid dream, I believe increases by 300 or 400%. It's significant. Maybe it's even more than that. Um, but right off the top of my head, it's, it's significant the amount of, um, 
of uh, per the percentage that it increases by t that you would have a lucid dream from a nap. So you could do that again right after you wake up or you can do it in the middle of the day. Uh, another way to, uh, to have lucid dreams is to again be listening to lucid dream material that'll seep into your mind and once you're dreaming the likelihood of you remembering to dream check or remembering that you might be dreaming or asking yourself remembering to ask yourself would increase as well so those are the main tips uh, again the top four more than anything is first of all start journaling so you can actually increase your dream memory or dream recall as they call it uh, second of all get familiar with your dream science and do the dream checks every day throughout the day maybe every two hours and again that will um, cement in your subconscious that you want to dream check while you're in the dream as well uh, the third one of course is putting the intention to have lucid dreams through an affirmation that you repeat to yourself every single day in the morning and in the evening perhaps in front of the bear in front of the mirror would be even more powerful as I do my affirmations in my story. The fourth one is uh, definitely uh, meditation. And, uh, and as I mentioned, some of the other ones is napping. Uh, there are also supplements that you can take that help you with that. But more than anything, those top three or four tips will get you uh, very far in terms of your lucid dream practice and get you very far in terms of having a lucid dream in 30 days or less, especially if you are committed and you do it every single day. All right, so try it. Let me know what happens. And uh, if you have any questions, put them down below. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more cool videos about dream yoga, about confidence, about socializing, about dating, which is all kind of in a way related because it has to do with you. So again, click the subscription button or click the uh, also click the, um, the bell button and uh, we'll talk to you soon.